like Zelda games. That's what I like. Uh, how much Grand, money were you guys uh, looking? My grandsons snap those. Okay, yeah, that happens sometimes. Um, so they just pop off. Oh, yeah. All the games work. Ooh. How much money were you looking to get? I didn't even know that they, we were going to take and sell them. I mean, you know. Okay. Give me a thought and I'll tell you what. Well, I actually don't, we don't even need these handhelds if you want to keep those for your yeah. grandson. Right. But could we buy a couple of these games for, I don't know, what were you thinking? I have no clue what the words. I've just had them. Okay. If you're into old games and... Super, oh, I actually had that one. My little Tupperware container of Game Boy games. Frogger Adventures. What do you got there? Mario Tennis? And a Mega Man game. Oh, that's cool. There's a Mega Man, and there's a Tennis, and then there's a Zelda. Mm -hmm. And that's ages you have over you there? You tell me what they're worth and all. We usually buy them for like one or two a piece. We usually leave it up to the seller. Do you want to ask her and see what she, what she wants to do? What do you want for the game? I want your Tetris game. Huh? They want your Tetris. No, they don't want Tetris. Yeah, take Tetris, Tetris maybe. For, what, four bucks? I have like six copies. They want a couple of three. They just want a couple of games. Yeah, I've got four games. Later. Yeah, he mentioned your grandson <laughs> still plays them, so we're we're gonna we'll leave them behind. They're correct. I mean, we we, we have I have like eight of each of these yeah. at home. Yeah. I was more interested in the games. Yeah. If you want all three of them for five bucks, you're good. Okay. okay. I'll go three and you can go two. Okay. Fair. I don't know how many ones I have in here. I don't. I don't know how many I have. Here, just I'll give you a five. There you go, and you can just give me two. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. The only issue is they're like insanely dusty. Probably haven't seen the light of day since 1985. <laughs> since before Fanta was born. Oh. That Game Boy's in really nice shape. It's got Tetris in the back. Now that was in here, so it's not dusted in the, in the inside. Yeah. No, that's like <laughs> that's all nice. Nice um, wow. little container. There. I actually, oh, she didn't need this one too. Do you know what she wanted for all this kind of stuff? She's gonna ask her son. She's trying to get a hold of him. I know okay. she might be working today. Ooh. Yeah, it's got the little cases to it. Are you trying to, trying to call dibs in that one? Is that what's going on? No, you can have it. Sick. Even though I know, oh, you, never mind. You traded that for Conquerors. That's right. Yeah. What is that? I don't know, but I'm gonna buy it. Oh my gosh. How is that? It's like a bootleg. It is. Because it says Super Nintendo games on it. What the hell? Someone, someone on Take a Swap. So if you buy that, you would buy that separate from this. Yeah. Um, these don't. This is would, completely different thing. That doesn't go with this. This stuff. This does. This yeah. does. Yeah. What I don't is, know what the hell I don't know this is. What this is a charger or something. This is a handheld from oh. like the 80s. You'd play it just on on the road trips or whatever. Mm -hmm. And these are the actual console games. You'd actually have to plug these into mm -hmm. a TV to play it. And this right here doesn't go with this at all. I don't even know what this is. I think it's oh, you don't know a what wall plug or something for it. Oh, okay. Maybe she just slid it in there or something. Rechargeable battery And then pack. you guys have the Atari games, but the system's kind of MIA. I can't wait to play this mystery game and see what it ends up being. It looks like this goes Someone to, took the uh, label off this and put... That's cool. You need, Something to, else you need to check that out. We'll, we'll play it today when we get home and see what it is. This is what I really want though because I have the empty box of this, no game. This is for if you have like a rechargeable battery pack for this, but it doesn't look like it does. It just looks like it's just like regular. Mm -hmm. But that is one of the nicer conditioned Game Boys I've seen in a long time. That's really nice. Like, normally these things are like yellow and beat up, you know? Mm -hmm. That one's nice. They're not sure what exactly is going on. There's a PlayStation in here with these old games. She's talking to her son, I believe, who might be at work. Yeah, I hope she comes out soon. Can you see? Um, She's cool. Tetris, Tetris everywhere. This is all I need if she's willing to sell them. We would buy everything, but if, if she wants to hold on to it or something, I understand. And I, These are the two I really want, but if she wants to get rid of everything, we'll probably buy everything. You mean you would even buy these little ones along with the whole Probably thing? not because I don't, have an I don't have that system, and that oh, system's... I see. I mean ancient, like that's from like the early so 80s. So these right here maybe. 
yeah i'd probably buy these depending on the price i mean i own all of these already so i would oh, get them to I like see. trade yeah. i don't own these two that's why i'm kind of interested in those two i remember when you got final Fantasy, you traded for conquer's bed for a day right yeah yep on n64 that was I mean, a good trade it's like a dog got to this is it a good game i know the ones on the super nintendo are good it uh it's actually final fantasy 2 i think and i think it's pretty good okay just from what i've heard i'm gonna i'm gonna have a swig of my energy drink i'll be right back all right So yeah, they're both, they're both running. Oh. You know what, 50 cents? I'll take 50 cents for it. I'm back. What are you thinking, man? Right, it's up to you. Okay. $5 dollars for per old TV here? You're going to buy that one and it's tested and working? Yep. Alright, cool. We'll plug it in when we get home and plug a system into it. You going to get one? No. no. I don't have any room in my room. <laughs> Ryan, you got to give us 30 bucks. I gotta go, we're going up in price now? Yeah, she's got a car charger and everything. I oh, I didn't know, okay. <laughs> like I got both. Yeah. A one dollar. I might have another stylus too. Oh, that's just from the leather case? I don't know, Fanna, what do you think, should I go $30 on it? That's a great deal. I think I would. It's in great condition. And the card truck. Oh, all right. Just because we haven't found anything else today. If you wanted to, I could find another stylus. No, I'm I'm good. I only need one. Thirty bucks. You're going three on this Kirby game and three Mario million. and yeah. Olympic games. Okay. All right. Here you go. Any other DS games you need, Fanta? Yep. And if uh, you guys find, so if you guys want to part with the Wii games, we'll be out driving about today. So just give me a call and we'll come stop back by, okay? What about the uh, PlayStation game? That's three bucks, right? Oh, we're adding that to the. Yeah, because that's not part of the PSI. Okay. Well. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, that's all right. Can I, can I just have it since I just gave you an extra five dollars from our original agreed price? <laughs> Two bucks. Okay. That's pretty good. I, and I get to play it. <laughs> I love that one. I want to try it, yeah. <laughs> I'll pay a $2 fee just so I can give right, it a play. Cool. See if it's I appreciate like, that, man. See if it's as good as Mario Kart. Yeah. Mario, I still haven't found a kart racer as good as that game. Yeah. Um, Modern Nation was close. You know, she has a... Do you, do you still have that card that uh, Uncle Joe gave you? No. Oh, you don't? Oh, that one was downloaded. And we so downloaded like? some stuff with a whole bunch of games. Oh, the R4 card? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. With the DS? Yeah, those with are sick. DS. I've always wanted one of those. You sure you don't know where it is? Oh, yeah. I'm Spore, Marvel. Because you're not going to have the unit anymore. No, so I know that. Go. I lost oh. it a long... I lost, oh, like, the mini yeah. chip that was in it. Oh, I yeah. love it. Oh, This is what New Mexico, was it? New it was Mexico, New Mexico? I, th I don't know. I, I don't, it was that or Nevada. I think you're right. Yeah, it was New Mexico. The yeah. worst game ever made. This is the game that caused the video game crash. This is... This yeah. Almost made video games non-existent. Well, Nintendo escaped. Yeah. Nintendo saved it, I should say. Yeah, Nintendo saved it. Riddle of the Sphinx, Atlantis, Journey. Actually, this would be kind of cool to take home and play. Dude, if I knew how to set it up, I totally would. In Bowden. I think you can set up real quick with just... I don't have the... Yeah, it's got to have those like antenna prong things. It's ridiculous. There's another way to do it too, but I can never figure it out. It's actually in really good condition. Mega Mania is space. The system's in better condition than the game. The games have seen some a little bit of dust, huh? Yeah. I almost want to buy this just because of how terrible it is. ET? Well, it's just something you just have to have in your collection. It's a piece of history. I just piece have this... <laughs> in the top of a closet and it hasn't been down for 12 years anyway. Do you want to sell it or is it something you want to hang on to? Well, I'd sell the whole kit together, the whole thing, you know, but uh, yeah, yeah, I there's a Tron. Back on. 1982 Disney. I wonder where that game is. That's sick. It might be here. Demon attack? I don't know. Literally one thing about Atari stuff. I've had three at one point and I didn't figure it out so I kind of gave up on it. Joust is so much fun. I've been on the links. I mean, 
instruction manuals for Atari games down there too. The only reason I'd never buy an Atari again is because A, you could just go buy one of those like ones all like the pre-installed games and it's actually made by Atari so it's got the authentic controllers and everything. The plug and plays? Yeah. Uh, it's not the real thing though, Fanny. I know, but it's still the same company. It's not like it's some That's off brand. That's sick box art. I, I love the box art. I love the cartridges, but... Uh, yeah, that yeah, that'd be for that one. Well, what's what's your what's the price? Just out of curiosity. Uh, well, because of its rarity, uh, I know what I uh, guy tried to buy it several years ago, uh, probably 12, 15 years ago. Uh, I'd probably go in the neighborhood of 200 bucks. 200 dollars. <laughs> I bought I bought a uh, a box. I remember these Taco Bell toys, I believe. Nothing, even that really good condition ape, ape escape. Not a big PlayStation 1 guy, are you? Ooh. What about this one? Know anything about this game? It's some kids TV show. Oh, okay. Hitman contacts, a bunch of a bunch of gambling games. Someone likes to gamble, huh? No, we're we want you to learn and then go to Vegas. Oh, I are. <laughs> and then call me if you win the million dollars. And then share it? No, no, then, then no. You, then you, can you don't have to, to give me anything. I, I, just, I just want you to call me and say you got it. Don't, don't worry, it. we'll tape you on TV. <laughs> hey, that's the dude who came to the yard sale bought the tapes. Yeah. And he learned. Look at him. You won a million dollars. You got me out of bluff. <laughs> That's the problem when I go on cruises. You're stuck on the boat with the casino, so you can't walk out. You're stuck in there forever. All right, cool. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have a great day. All right, you too. What is going on, YouTube? White back here in the building. Uh, once again with my co-star, the wise teacher from Boy Meets World, Mr. Fanny. Thank you for joining us, George Fanny. Uh, and we, we finally got back out together. Uh, banana harvest was on a little recess this weekend or something, right? The bananas were... Otherwise known as work. The yeah. bananas weren't, weren't as big as, as would have been preferred. But um, we went out together and we had, a, we had an all right day. We actually had a really good day um, with DVDs and stuff, but mm. we didn't, I didn't show any of that on spy cam. I didn't turn on the spy cam. I didn't turn on spy cam for DVDs. Yeah. But as far as retro video games go, we'll show you the DVD stuff later. Uh, the first find you guys saw was a Game Boy lot. And when I hear Game Boy lots, I usually don't get that excited. I'm like, there's no, probably not going to be that many. There's not that many cool games. There's a lot of shovelware games. Just Tetris 1000. But this lot turned out to be uh, really good. I'll show you the first of the pretty good games, and it's Mario Tennis on Game Boy Color here. I've never played this one. I played the Game Boy Advance one. Was that the RPG one? or was that No, that the was the Game Boy Advance one. We saw the RPG one, yeah, where you had to like talk for three hours to get it, to do anything. For a tennis game. And then obviously the winner of the lot, uh, Fanta picked up. Uh, the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. Now, didn't you say the Game Boy uh, Color games are pretty good for Zelda? Yes, they're very good. So, now I'll have and this two one of them. physically and then I'll have the Seasons one because I got the, you have the digital download. The digital download coming up. Yep, and here's a uh, Mega Man Extreme 2. I picked it up because it said Mega Man on the label and uh, noticed it's a $15 and $20 game for a Game Boy game. So yeah, we, we got like a $40 lot. For, got, like... for Game Boy games, that turned out to be a really nice lot. Yeah. Um, I have a Game Boy Color like Tupperware box. This will probably go in it and I'll probably give it a play. See what I like about it, what I don't like. Uh, let's see, Fanta, where are we at here? couple DVDs. Couple DVDs uh, in a row here. Um, the middle of the day, we didn't find any video games for the for, for the, like second and third hour. Yeah, it was forever. But uh, I got a couple really nice DVD deals. This one was amazing. Six Feet Under, the complete second season, uh, two dollars. It was in the DVD lot. He said two dollars every DVD. I held this up with my two bucks, and he said yeah. So here it's a really really good series. Now that Breaking Bad's over, I'm trying to watch these critically acclaimed uh, series. And I'll, I'll get to the good one in a minute. Uh, I got this. I actually gave the guy three dollars for it. It's a Garth Brooks uh, complete collection of like live performances and stuff. I'm pretty big Garth Brooks fan, so I picked this up. It's in a nice ten case. It's not worth that much, like twenty dollars, but I'm gonna keep it. 
Uh, again, I gave him $3 for that. And then the find of the day for me, because I, I told so Fanta, cool. I almost bought this for $70 the other day, and I ended up getting it for $5 at can a garage sale. So. Yes, you can I'm borrow it when I'm done. Awesome. Uh, I've been wanting to watch this since the conclusion of Breaking Bad, because people compare Breaking Bad to this. They say they're like two of the best shows ever. So I have to give this a try, and that is The Wire, the complete series. Um, five seasons of a TV show, five dollars. This was so in her crazy. one dollar. This was another girl. This was in her one dollar DVD thing. I held it up. Uh, she's like, "Well, since that's five DVDs, give me five dollars for it. Since it's five seasons, it's way more than five DVDs. So five dollars for The Wire. Um, watch it. You'll watch it. We'll see what we like, and then exactly. resell it probably. If I don't want to keep it, uh, it'll get fifty dollars on eBay. I mean, this is a valuable thing that's here. Awesome. That's my favorite find of the day. Unless it's far. like Breaking Bad where you kind of want to watch it again and again and again. Exactly. Or like Lost and Arrested Development are two shows I've watched like oh, yeah. eight times through. So, yeah, exactly. Um, we'll get to the interesting... Is the this? DS lot. Oh, no, you got that. This was, oh, this was during the, the, the Wire. This was at the Wire cell, yeah. It wasn't on Spy Cam. Um, I got a Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101. Uh, screen's a little... It's just smudgy, so it's fine. There's a little bit of paint on there, and I don't know if it, it probably works. I mean, most of the time the batteries are just. We have a charger to try. We should probably try it. Yeah, but it also came with two games. Uh, game number one, unknown, because for some reason kids like to take off the labels. Try it real quick. Try it real quick. Yeah. Oh, okay. we're gonna find out what it is. We're gonna do it on the NES Game Boy Advance SP here. I need to get one of those. I wish it was one on one. Like, why aren't all the cool ones one on one? Probably gonna be junk. Independence Arts. THQ, be a Tony Hawk game. <laughs> what the fuck? Pa Paws and Claws Pet Resorts. Day one buy right there. Day oh, one right. buy. Well, you got an AGS 101 for exactly. $5. Yeah. Yeah. And then it also came with uh, Centipede, Breakout, and Warlords. So those are those are three great uh, Atari games. So that's cool. That's nice for like, yeah, for like not a mainstream yeah. game. That's a pretty nice pickup. And then this will go straight in the trash. <laughs> yeah, right. Fan is going to do a playthrough of it. Um, I'll let you use my charger to charge yeah, that up. Yeah, three months from now. I have, right now I have four SPs. Gonna do a playthrough. So I'm not gonna, I can't. I think I, have, I think I have seven, eight of those now, actually. Yeah, I can't, I'm not gonna give you a charger is my point though, because I, oh, like, I have like two that's, chargers that's for four fun. SPs. Um, I just wanted to try it as well. I was gonna keep it. Next find. Kind of spent quite a bit here, but it was kind of a slow day, so. Uh, they, I guess some girl was going on some 8th grade trip to Washington, D.C. or something. Oh, so. you know what? I did the same thing. Anyway, sorry. 8th grade. Good story. Good uh, story. They, so she's doing Good a story, trip right? to Washington, D.C. And they wanted to, they were really interested in getting money, not getting rid of stuff. So I, we gave her it was quite a bit of money for the stuff. You got a really good deal. I, I paid quite a bit. But uh, I ended up paying $30. The agreed price, as you heard in the video, was 25 We agreed on that. It was 100%. And then I come back and he's like, oh, you got to give her 30 for it now because we found the car charger. And I'm like, uh, okay. And then he's like, oh, and you got to give me extra money for the Toy Story game because that's not part of the deal. So I ended up paying like 32 or something for this lot. Can't complain too much. It's still a really good deal. DSi. Yeah. A blue DSi in really yeah. good shape. They had those disgusting like plastic things on the front that made it all scratchy. If you have those on your DS or on your phone, take them off. They're, they're pointless. Um, Honestly, I think the bottom of the screen does kind of need a little bit of scratch protection, especially for kids. Sure. Just because you're, you're rubbing well, it yeah, I took it right, right Exactly, and I took it right off, and now I have like a pretty close to mint condition. Yeah, it looks DSi. Nice. It this look doesn't like... damn... It's a DS Lite that plays Game Boy Advance games. Exactly. So there's almost no point in having that. It's a, nice, it's a cool system, though. Uh, yeah, it came with, cool. came with a couple games. One really good game that made it worthwhile. Uh, Phineas and Ferb was not the good game, don't worry. Nice condition, though. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers is part of the reason that I didn't have a problem. I have this game. Really good condition. I think I might trade out the game though. Um, the game itself is like sticky on mine back here. Remember that stupid keychain yeah, thing you had? I remember it. We got it like, like last April or something. I got this game and it was like sticky because of the keychain adhesive stuff. So I might exchange the game, but the case is mint. The manual is mint. And that's a good, I don't know what, 15 twenty dollars back towards my purchase because yeah. uh, I already own the game. Pets, wild animal, dolphins, probably another shovelware kids game. And then this game, I'm actually pretty interested to play this. It looks a little bit like Mario Kart. 
Toy Story Racer. I think I paid two dollars for that. Two bucks for this. Yeah, I believe. Two, and like, yeah, there's games on the system, was, aren't there? No, there's no. I was looking for games, but there's just like, like said, there's like two hundred pictures on here of weird shit like of Grand like, Canyon National looks Park. Looks like they went on like a hike. And why would you bring this on a hike? First know. of all, and what a shitty camera. It's not the best. Um, little kids though, so. So yeah, on, a, on slow days, we'll usually pay extra money. If this was like last week, I wouldn't have gotten thirty dollars for this lot because I was finding crazy stuff all day. And then what I got for three dollars each was a uh, Kirby Squeak Squad. So that's kind of cool. I'm wanting to play this one. Uh, I played this one a long time ago. You can suck up multiple um, like types of powers, and then on the bottom screen, you can actually like combine them and create different like powers and stuff. So this one's really cool. I'm actually gonna be playing that. And Three dollars, right? Yeah. Per game, yeah. Uh, and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Uh, didn't you buy this last yeah, week? Yeah, I had a couple of these loose cards. So I mean, it's complete and everything, and I don't know. I'll try it out. I don't know how it actually is gonna be, but it's a Mario title, so I'll try it. If it's junky, you can still get ten bucks for it or exactly. something, probably. Some kid will like it. Uh, I still haven't played mine. I have two copies of the game. Um, <clears throat> what was I? What were we at? I got this next. Oh yeah, God. Uh. -huh. Was it a yard sale? Now, I would never buy this game for what it sells in stores. It sells for $75 for the starter kit. This is this is $75 right here. A factory seal. Why the hell they didn't open it? What, what was the story? What there was, was the story? They didn't give me a story. Like Just some kid was like, I don't. I never wanted to play it. And I, he got uh, it for, for some reason, instead something? of returning it, they opened it, stared at it, and then never... They didn't open the game. They didn't open it. They just opened the box. So, <coughs> um, It's Skylanders, so that's kind of cool. The adventure one, and it also has the. This is all five bucks. Uh, it comes with the portal, which looks like once again never used. It's got Spyro, uh, Trigger Happy, which is some crazy looking dude with two that guns. Sick. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to using. And then uh, like a green Gil Grunt, which I'm guessing he's supposed to. It's like a Murloc from WoW. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got like the uh, like the Donkey Kong like. Jetpack. The jetpack that Diddy Kong had in the... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's So, I'm, I honestly really want to try it because I heard it was like Gauntlet, but for kids. So, let me try that out. Uh, at the yard sale next door to that, while well, Fanta was getting that, I picked up this for three bucks. No big deal at all. The rundown. Stupid action movie with The Rock and Sean William Scott back when he used to have a career. Which was ten years ago. Yeah, that um, was forever ago. No, this was Sonic. one of the cooler finds. This was actually where we got The Wire, um... And where you got the Game Boy, we actually went back an hour and a half later. They said they had more stuff they were going to look for. And I actually ended up getting this for $5. I kind of regret not picking it up now. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what you're doing. Fanta comes up to the car. He's like, do you want Sonic Generations for $7? And I'm like, yeah. So I went in there. My wallet, I just had fives. I'm like, would you take five? Because I just had a bunch of $5 bills. And she did. Can I see, so, it? see if it's the game I remember? Yeah, it definitely is. 3DS game for five bucks. Um, on Day one buy. Always, I'll always buy it. Yeah, most of the time, uh, most of the time it's guaranteed. And then some stupid work. things, some pointless finds here really quick. Oh yeah. <laughs> I paid 50 cents a piece for these two items. This thing was sick. I That's wasn't going to leave cool, this there. Honestly. A Lion King mug. Um, I love the Lion King. I love Disney stuff. Like that's one of the things I'll buy now at garage sales. I'll buy like Disney you stuff. Might as well, it's always going to be collectible. It's, it's always collectible. Go it's yeah. And Lion King's one of my favorite Disney movies. So Disney's this coffee cool. mug is just it's the sickest thing I've ever seen. 50 cents for that. Pretty cool. And then I also paid 50 cents for this. Uh, I'm a St. Louis fan, obviously, so they had this. Uh, I guess the Blues played it here in Phoenix, so it's a hockey puck with the Blues logo on it. I'm going to keep it. It's kind of cool. It's just kind of cool. If, if, if it was any team besides St. Louis, I wouldn't have gotten it. Um, and I'll show these real quick, just because we need both pick these up. Yep. And I, I need to make a video with my uh, my recent Nintendo pickups. That, uh, especially the system. The system. We need to see that because that thing's sick. Uh, if you haven't picked these up, drop what you're doing and go get them right now. Do it. If you don't have money, sell some of your other games on eBay and go pick these up. Yeah, these games are absolutely awesome. Phenomenal. I like these a hundred times more than black and white. Honestly, probably the best Pokemon games I've ever played. So, for me too. Yeah. Just, just because it's not just the graphics. It's the gameplay's a lot more fluid. They fix a lot of things like... Like, catching Pokemon gets you experience. That is seriously my favorite thing yeah. ever, because I've always loved catching all the Pokemon, but when you do it too many times, your Pokemon aren't leveling anymore. You're losing experience, yeah. Exactly. So and like my roommate said, when you get into a huge battle with a legendary, it's cool to get that couple exactly. thousand experience instead of just losing it. 
off to the wind. My favorite feature, it's kind of stupid, but it's my favorite feature of the game period, is how you use the directional button to walk and then you use the joystick to, to skate. So, so no sick. more push and select to get on the bicycle and stuff. And there's different modes of skating. Like, uh, he actually, like, depending on how fast you go, will change the way he skates on your screen. Yeah. And another, another cool little thing that they change is there's no grid anymore. Like, when you're skating, you can go you wherever you want. It's, just, it's not just like up, down, up. Yeah, yeah exactly. You can go Which wherever you want. You can go diagonal and stuff. Awesome games. Um, pick those up. Like, literally, if you have a 3DS, you have to go get one. It's, if yeah. not, look for 3DSs. You can probably get a 3DS if you scoped it out. Probably for like $75 on Craigslist or something yeah. if you paid close I mean, attention. They're not that expensive Especially anymore. the original ones. A lot of people are trying to get rid of the original 3DS to get the XL. Which honestly is the way to go because that, that screen. Sick, yeah. Once I got it, I, I don't know how I played in the original at all. And when I play like portable gaming, to me, is not. It's not like what the SP was where I pulled out the bus stop and stuff. It's for trips. It's for on the airplane. It's for. Or it's for laying in bed when you don't want to. Laying in bed when you're watching system. a TV show. It's exactly. not. Like yes, it's big, but who cares? Like I'm not gonna have it in my pocket and mm -hmm. take it to school or anything. I'm not 15 anymore. So uh, get, get a case for it for crying out loud. And if not, get a 3DS, because the 3DS is perfect size. Yeah. 3DS is like the size of this DSi. They're not big. They'll fit perfectly in your pockets. Mm -hmm. So um, we're out. You got anything? Fan is going to do a fan of fines someday? Someday in the future. It's He's been got... like three weeks or a month since I've done my last fan of fines. Whenever I say I'm going to make a video, it never goes up. I made that drunk uh, Toontown video like a month ago, but I just haven't had upload. the time to edit it and upload it. So... Upload and pain in the ass. This video, it's this pickup video that we're doing right now, this video we did today, it, like three hours you know, it won't be up to YouTube for like five hours from now. Yeah. So we'll, me and you will be like doing something completely different by the time it's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, we're out. Fanifines, he's going to do a video sometime in the next couple weeks. A lot of new stuff, right? New systems? Uh, I've, I gave Nintendo an entire paycheck. Yeah, he's got a lot of new Nintendo systems, special editions and stuff that you guys... If you haven't seen them yet, you'll want to check it out just for the unboxing and whatever. And honestly, the systems I got are still available. Oh, let me so let me take a step back. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, those of you, I, I mean, I put the NES stuff. We didn't get the Nintendo games. That was one of the most annoying stuff oh, we've been to ever. That old lady. Because we spent a good 35, 40 minutes of our day at her house, and she would not sell us anything. She I just pulled it out to show it to us and then didn't sell it to us. What is that bootleg game? That NES um, one. It's a question I propose to you subscribers that know more than me. Yeah, and us combined. Seriously. It was an NES game, but it had three Super Nintendo mm. games listed what was it, on it. Street Fighter. Turtles in Time was on there. Was it? Was, was the middle was one? Was Metroid on there? No. What was also? I think they were all fighters. So um, we we're gonna try to get those three. I've emailed the son who owns them or something, and five bucks has been said, again. I just we really want to buy these games. Well, whatever. <laughs> if those, if that game is for some reason like extremely valuable or something, let me know and I will keep bothering them and maybe I'll go back to the house at some point and like ring the doorbell mm -hmm. and say that I'm still interested. Let me know what that thing is. I'm just I'm more interested than anything. I really wanted to try it. Like that's why I was really disappointed we didn't get it. Like, I know. I don't, I don't, I don't really I care if it's valuable. Five, I just want to see what's just on to it. see what was on it exactly. So uh, now we're out. Um, drop some comments. I'm going to do love comments honestly. When I get a moment's free time, I'll do the giveaway probably for one of these Game Boys. <laughs> uh, when I get some free time, which is not right now. I'm too nope. busy with shit. So uh, we're out, and uh, later, guys. Thanks for watching.